On this episode of Canine Corner, we'll be learning how service dogs are taught different commands. We'll check out a new doggy daycare facility that opened in Torrance. And we'll introduce you to this adorable little guy who's looking for a forever home. All this coming up right now on Canine Corner. I'm Rhiannon Trutanich, your host for Canine Corner, the show that your dog will give two paws up. We have a great show for you today. We'll learn some of the commands that service dogs in training with Canine Companions for Independence are taught, and we'll stop by Dogtopia and Torrance and learn about the services they offer for dogs. But first, let's meet adorable rescue dogs who are looking for their forever homes. So Pug Nation is in its ninth year. A board of seven of us formed Pug Nation Rescue of Los Angeles because we knew there were tons of pugs in the Southern California area that needed our help. So basically we take them out of shelters, we take owner relinquishments if they can't take care of them. If there's a stray on the street and nobody claims them, we take them in. We have a 24-hour facility, so we take them into our facility, get them any vet care they need, make sure they have shots up to date, et cetera, et cetera and then we try and adopt them out and find them great homes. This is Pickles. He's been with us, I wanna guess, about six months. He was in a shelter, his owner turned him in, and this is a typical story of ours. Dog starts having back-end weakness, maybe is incontinent, and people don't wanna deal with it, so they either bring him to us or the shelter. So we got him out of the shelter, his name is Pickles, he's seven years old, sweet sweet baby, but he does have a curvature of his spine that he was probably born with, and over time it got worse. So he could walk and everything. The problem is he's a little incontinent, so someone has to have patience with him if he has accidents in the, in the house. He's absolutely loving, gets along with other dogs, loves people. We're looking for a special person that would give him a chance. Pickles. So this is Dak, he's two years old, came to us from the shelter, wearing the cone of shame because he has a scratch in the right eye, which is unfortunately becoming an ulcer. So we've got some medications that we're hoping will help heal it, otherwise we'll have to go over some surgical options to see if that will help. The other eye is gone, <laughs> and he came to us that way. I guess his eye was pretty bad um, when he was at the shelter, so they removed it there. We had a little complication afterwards when he came to us with the eye, but luckily our, our ophthalmologist is so great, so she got him on good meds and that helped. Two years old, so very, very energetic. Um, has escape artist tendencies. <laughs> so definitely want to make sure the house, the front and backyards are all secure because he's pretty quick slipping out of fences and whatnot. He's great with other dogs, loves to play, loves to take walks. He still seems to be learning how to walk on a leash. Sometimes he gets overwhelmed with excitement or just so inquisitive that he never really walks in a straight line. Um, <laughs> but he's super cool, super cute. Probably needs some training because he's young still, but He's, he's awesome. So this is Vincent, he's 12 years old. This is actually his second round with us. He was adopted out to a family for about five years. So this time around, he's been with us probably about a year now. Vincent is one of those kiddos who gets overwhelmed around a lot of commotion, a lot of dogs. Um, so he's really best one-on-one -on -one and would be best in an only dog home and obviously no young kids but he's, he's great and he's part of our HIPPO program so he's been with the same HIPPO human for the full year the program's been going and just recently he's really become more comfortable like he kisses her now, he barks with excitement and his tail wags and she's really acclimated him to be comfortable with us picking him up and, and being around other dogs so it's been a great program for him. He is um, arthritic in the hips so walks would probably be best kept short. He is starting to limp in the front leg too which we've got him on medication for but you know being an older man that just kind of happens comes with the territory but he still does love to take walks pretty loyal with his human once he trusts you enough so um, he's he's awesome he we always laugh because he's got a grumpy face but he's he's really not that grumpy so <laughs> he's he's actually very very sweet once once he's comfortable and you just give him a little time to get to know you if you are interested in adopting one of the dogs 
please contact Pug Nation Rescue of Los Angeles by visiting PugNationLA.org or call 310-327-7871. Again, 310-327-7871. Those dogs are so cute. Now, you may remember seeing the National Service Dog Organization, Canine Companions for Independence, on our show. Well, they're back to give us a demonstration of the commands that they teach their service dogs in training. Canine Companions for Independence is a nonprofit organization that's devoted to ad helping adults and children with disabilities live a more independent life through highly trained assistance dogs. The timeline for training is the dogs are all bred in Northern California, up near wine country in Santa Rosa. It's a beautiful campus. They have uh, all the veterinary staff is there. They breed their own dogs, mixes of Goldens and Labs, like this guy here, Tempo. They're born and bred and stay in a person's home because we want them to be, from the time they're born, we want them to be with humans. Mm -hmm. And so for the first eight weeks, they're with their breeder caretaker home. Then they come to a volunteer puppy raiser like myself, a little eight week old ball of fur. <laughs> we train in 30 commands that the organization specifically has asked us to train in. Mm -hmm. And those are general, no matter what the dog is eventually going to be, we don't know. We don't know what Tempo's going to decide he wants to be or what wow. his skills are right for. So we train these basic 30 commands. Then when I turn the dog in after 18 months or so, then they go into professional training. And that's when they will start having an idea of what the dog would be particularly suited for. And then they will start training the commands that would work for that particular type of dog. So one of the commands we teach is an under because we're out in restaurants or I'm at work and I'm sitting behind a desk. Um, an under command tells him to go under whatever I'm standing in front of and turn around, lay down and face me so I can see what he's doing. So I'm gonna pretend here, I'm gonna be sitting at a table. Pop up, under. That's it, under, all the way. Pop, 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 pop. He needs encouragement, come here, pop, 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 pop. under. Yes, all the way, there you go. That's a good under. He's turned around, he's facing me, so I can continue to watch him as I would sit here and have dinner. Yes. And we would have dinner and he would be happy there for an hour plus. One of the biggest compliments is when you get up and leave a nice restaurant and people go, oh, I had no idea there was a dog there. <laughs> release is a command that says you can do whatever you want, um, but tempo, release. It. Good job. Good job. We also teach an up command. Tempo. Up, up. Come up. Yes. Means put my two front paws there and stay off. Um, that will, in professional training, get turned into a way that a person in a wheelchair could transact business over a countertop, like at Home Depot or something. The dog can take the credit card in their mouth, do an up command on the counter. The cashier would take it, transact the business, give it back to the dog, and he'd give it back to the person. So we do that basic up, and then they'll build on that in professional training. Let's see if we'll do a jump. His jump is more of a step, <laughs> good. But jump means get all four paws on whatever I'm telling you to do. Good job. And again, this might be used with their graduate to groom them. Get them on a grooming table because we do groom them while we have them and the graduate will groom them every week while they have them. So we check their ears in this position, we clean their ears, we brush their teeth. We try and brush their teeth multiple times a week, if not every day. Uh, we brush them and again, this is used by the graduate to be able to do that on their own. Up. Yes. Good job, buddy. Good job. Up command is used by the graduates so that they can put their gear on them, put their vest on, put their leash and collar on, get ready to go out. Also used to, again, check their ears each day, maybe their teeth. You'll see we got really shiny white teeth. Wow. Um, as puppy raisers, we want them to be comfortable with being handled inside their mouth, in their ears, you know, trimming their paws or their nails. 
uh, grooming them. They have to be very comfortable with all that. And this is one of the positions that the graduate could use to do that as well as getting their equipment on, getting ready for their day. And to give them a good hug and a kiss, huh? Yeah, can give you a good hug and kiss that way. Some of the earliest commands we teach are just the basic house commands, basic obedience commands. Boop, boop. Uh, so sit, tempo, here. Sit, yes, good sit, buddy. Shake, yes, good shake. Nicely done. Down, yes. We want a good down. We want his hip shifted in toward me again so he's not uh, an impediment to people walking by. Tempo, let's go. Boop, boop. Yes, good boy. Again, we usually talk in high squeaky voices to get them excited about working. If you would like more information about Canine Companions for Independence, please visit their website, cci.org. How amazing that those commands are then built upon to teach the dogs things like turning on a light or opening a door. The CCI dogs truly make a difference in people's lives. We're going to take a short break, but don't go anywhere. There's much more dog on fun when we come back. Hmm, maybe you can make retirement happen. After all, you made home ownership happen. Homeschooling yourself on loans, beefing up your credit score. So I'm pre-approved. You were like, yes! Sorry. Color coding listings, ticking boxes, and flushing every toilet in a 20-mile radius. Home sweet home. You aced house hunter. Now get the tips you need to get on track at aceyourretirement.org. As a band, we try to make music that will fill the world with happiness. It's a magical thing getting to do what you love and seeing the way it affects the feelings of others. But there are still some people that want to fill the world with pain. Online bullying can be stopped, however. We can all work together to fix it. This emoji is in the symbol section of your phone's emoji keyboard. Use it when you see bullying online to say, I see what you're doing and it's not cool. Let's fill the world with music and love and beauty instead of anger and hate. Join us and become a witness. When you see bullying online, use this emoji to do something. Learn more at eyewitnessbullying.org. Welcome back to Canine Corner. I'm your host, Rhiannon Trutanich. Dogtopia is a new facility that opened right here in Torrance. They offer doggy daycare, boarding, and so much more. Let's check it out. Dogtopia is a nationwide doggy daycare company. Dogtopia here in Torrance is the first in LA County. For owner Kathy Miller, it was a choice that made sense. I am a local Torrance resident, went to high school here. Um, I live in Torrance, my two boys uh, go to school here. Um, but I worked for a uh, Fortune 500 company for 23 years, uh, right out of college. After leaving the corporate world and working for a pet startup, Kathy wanted to open a dog franchise and gravitated to Dogtopia. I looked at a lot of fr pet franchises and I loved the branding. It's so bright and just like fun. It's a fun atmosphere. And I love that they were focusing on daycare. A lot of the other franchises were mostly boarding and we do a lot of boarding as well, but daycare just seemed like the way to go. We are always outside in our area. We're close to the beach. You want a good dog to go out and have dinner, you know, have a glass of wine on a patio. And so socialization is super important. Mm -hmm. And so I like that idea of having the dogs coming and meeting their friends and learning how to be social. Dogtopia fit the bill. Dogtopia is the fastest growing pet franchise in the United States and Dogtopia of South Bay opened in fall 2019. Dogtopia is a modern daycare. We are different because we are an indoor facility and we have three playrooms that we divide by size, temperament, and play style. So we've got the little toy box for our littles. We got the romper room for our medium kind of high energy. And then we've got the gym for our big, big dogs. And we also have sterile filtered air going throughout the facility. So the pups are breathing in the cleanest of air. And we also have compressed rubberized floors for paws, hips, and joints. So when they play hard, they stay safe. In addition to daycare, Dogtopia also offers other services for pet parents. 
So tell me about the services you guys offer here. You know, daycare obviously, but um, what other things can people bring their dog here for? Yeah, sure. We have daycare, obviously. We're open Monday through Sunday during the week, seven to seven on weekends from 10 to five. We also do overnight boarding and we have spa services. So we do baths, nail trims, teeth, blueberry facials. That's always a hit. I have smelled that soap and I want a blueberry facial. Let's do it. <laughs> Pet parents can book a half or full day daycare for their dog. They can even watch their dog while they are apart. So we have canine coaches in every playroom. They're always supervised. And we do have nest cams in every playroom as well. So you can download our Dogtopia app and you can watch your puppy play all day with our bacon scented bubble machine. We also do uh, different games to keep them occupied and their mind busy. So we do things like group sit, follow the leader, some agility things. We bring in tennis balls, maybe frisbees, but the bacon scented bubbles are always the hit. The crowd favorite. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, it sounds like they're having fun in the romper room right now. Yeah, it sounds like horses are running back and forth. No, those are the dogs running up and down, playing and just, you know, hanging out with their BFFs. We call them their best furry friends forever. Dogtopia is not only a safe, clean, temperature controlled environment for pups, but playtime is made extra fun by the scented bubbles, especially made for dogs. Well, we have bacon scented and peanut butter scented. So you're gonna have to pick your scent or we were just talking about maybe having some kind of contest to see who likes peanut butter and who likes bacon, but it's a crowd pleaser no matter which scent you want. <laughs> Sometimes the rooms have a lot of energy in them and you don't always want to have toys in there because not every pup gets a toy. Right. But every pup gets a bubble. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah, bubbles are the best. Dogtopia not only provides pet care pet parents can count on and trust, but they also give back. Dogtopia Foundation, we support three different foundations. We have Next Step Veterans that we're working with right now. Mm -hmm. We're raising money for a support puppy. So it takes $6,000 to raise a puppy from the time it's born to when it's paired with a veteran. Our puppy was born on 9-11. We will be picking a veteran that we'll pair the puppy with and it takes about eight months to raise that puppy. So we'll be paying for its shots, its foods, its training, it's transportation and then once they pair it with the vet then the last few months the trainer is training that puppy specifically for that veteran. Wow. Then we also hire autistic adults to help us here at Dogtopia with different tasks as well as school districts uh, for their literacy program. Uh, so we have the kids come in and read stories to the puppies or if, uh, if they can't read yet, they could tell a good story to the pups, but they sit on pillows and then we put the puppies around and they read to them. So three awesome, awesome foundations that we support here at Dogtopia. If you are interested in contacting Dogtopia, please visit dogtopia.com forward slash Torrance South Bay. You can also call 310-953-9321. They're located at 2360 West 205th Street in Torrance, 90501. How cool that Dogtopia in Torrance is the first one in LA County. I don't know about you, but I want to know more about this awesome company. Let's check in with Kathy, the owner again, to answer a few more questions. What are some of the reasons pet parents should bring their dogs to Dogtopia? It's great to have them here to get socially prepared and to meet friends and also just to get exercise. A lot of pups I've been hearing that are coming here, mom's saying they need to lose a couple pounds. <laughs> and you know, we all yo-yo. So they can come here and exercise and have a great time and learn socialization and agility. We reinforce the certain commands that are kind of basic. Sit, stay, come, leave it is a big one. We also help crate train. We have a homestyle crate that they can take their nap in or when they board, we have two suites. So we have an upgraded option if you want your pup to have the VIP treatment <laughs> or they can stay in the playrooms in their homestyle crates for sleeping or napping. What are some of the special events Dogtopia has? We have bacon parties. We grill off organic bacon. <laughs> the whole place smells wonderful. 
and then each pup gets a slice of bacon for a donation to help raise money for our puppy. Then, of course, playtime with the bacon bubbles in the playroom. <laughs> but for different holidays, we change up our treats. Like for fall, we'll do pumpkin and peanut butter kongs and raise money that way. And we do have peanut butter scented bubbles. <laughs> so we can kind of, I don't know, maybe there's peppermint bubbles. Ooh, ooh that would be festive. Yeah. Oh, I like the sound of that. I don't know if Popeye and I can come to one of these because <laughs> I will have to bring a lot of money with me because he's gonna want all the bacon and, and all the treats and I'm gonna have to prepare for that yeah. one. What is the standard for every Dogtopia facility? Dogtopia's standard is all the rooms are temperature controlled. So no matter what season it is, no matter what state, I mean, we're sunny California, but it's applicable to any state that has snow or excessive heat, but they're all temperature controlled. We also have a sterile filtered air. The air is flowing at all times and your pup is getting the cleanest of air. All of our lighting is UV lighting, so it helps to break down any kind of bacteria. What is the enrollment process for daycare? You can call in. We do require a meet and greet. A meet and greet is when we take the pup in and we do an evaluation. We do kind of like a touch test and then we bring them into an evaluation room and we bring in usually the calmest dog in the room, see how they kind of interact together. And then we bring in one of the opposite sex and then kind of a high energy dog. And then if everything goes well, then we put them in the playroom with the canine coaches and they play all day. What is the daily schedule for daycare at Dogtopia? So we do offer full and a half days. Okay. We have nap time from 12 to 2, so that's not the best time to come in. But the dogs do play pretty hard from 7 o'clock till noon. Mm -hmm. So we do have nap time, and then if they eat lunch or have a snack, they'll do that then and settle their tummy so they don't get bloat. And then at 2 o'clock, we open up the rooms again. Music goes on, the bubbles go on, everybody has a great time. If you are interested in contacting Dogtopia, please visit dogtopia.com forward slash Torrance South Bay. You can also call 310-953-9321. They're located at 2360 West 205th Street in Torrance, 90501. If you have a question, contact us and we'll be sure to get you the right answer. Call us at 310-618-5762 or email us at caninecorner at torrentca.gov. Now, if you miss the rescue pups at the beginning of our show or if you're anything like me and want to see the adorable dogs again, here's your recap. Pickles is a seven-year-old pug. He's a super sweet dog. He's been with Pug Nation for about six months after being rescued from the shelter. He gets along with other dogs and loves spending time with people. He can't wait to have a forever family. Dak is a two-year-old pug. He was rescued from the shelter by Pug Nation. He recently had surgery on his eye. He is a great dog with a lot of energy. He gets along with other dogs and is learning to walk well on a leash. He would love to be part of your family. Vincent is a 12-year-old pug. He is part of the honorary pug parent program at Pug Nation, which has helped him come out of his shell. He would love to have a human to call his own. If you are interested in adopting one of the dogs, please contact Pug Nation Rescue of Los Angeles by visiting PugNationLA.org or call 310-327-7871. Again, 310-327-7871. If you want even more Canine Corner or just want to say hello or share a photo of you and your pup with us, we always love to hear from you. Be sure to like our Facebook page and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's all the time we have today. Thanks for joining us here on Canine Corner. I'm Rhiannon Trutanich and we'll see you next time. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I don't even, I don't know what to do. I don't know.